Robin Utapa walks out to the centre. Utapa has got the bottom hand into play and he's hit it flat. And he picks himself his first boundary. And he's not going to hang around. 100 in boundaries now, 25 fours. Cat! Catch was the call from Gilchrist. And he just rocketed to the boundary. Crowd loves it. Here's the Yorker. Got the elevation required, Utapa. Just an extension of defense. But perhaps not so effective with the old ball because he provides the pace to uh, play shots like that. When Hogg and Simons are on, you've got to generate the pace off of that. But when Lee's bowling, you don't need to. And that's a good cricket shot. Picked out his spot. And with Lee into the attack, the wicket keeper can't stand up. That gives the liberty for the batsman to charge down the pitch. That's what Robin Utapa has done. Again, getting down on his knees to get the elevation. Good strike. Straight down. It's raining boundaries. Barry Richards was wondering why did Utapa walk in. And Rahul Dravid walked in. And he's been proved exactly right. Mm, it's going to be 280 for sure. I, mean, I think if they'd sent him in a little earlier, it might have got to 300 because he's got a full license here and he's playing some terrific shots. Slow delivery and he just walking down at him to get through it. They did and now they posted a very competitive title. Utapa gives the charge. Michael Clark is the man at long on. But the placement has been absolutely spot on. Certainly got a bit of talent, this uh, young man. Not afraid to use it either. He's uh, happy to create the uh, length himself by walking down what would be in the block hole. If he can walk down the wicket, he's going to catch it on the full like that. Also, the placement was terrific. Two very good fielders in the deep. Ricky Ponting was a short mid wicket. Just cleared him. Michael Clark is at long on. And the Samus comes to short mid wicket. He's taken the aerial route. And the same result. One bounce into the boundary. What a player. He's turning out to be Utapa. We thought it would be MS that would uh, take India to a big title over the last four overs. But it's been uh, Utapa. He's just played uh, with some lovely freedom. Just that little shimmy down the wicket. It's a bit of a trademark now. Tony is the man on strike. Can he finish it big? Two deliveries remain. Struck it down the ground. Hogg is normally good. But the outfield is quicker and Dhoni is better. 14 runs have come so far in the last over. Very fast outfield, so don't discount the Australians. Not far to go for uh, Brad Hogg. With no chance. Couldn't even get the bend in. So will we get to 290? It'll take a maximum. Well, he's looked for the maximum and he's got it. What a way to sign off. First six of the innings coming in the last ball of the 50th over. And 50 it is for Mahindra Singh Dhoni, the captain. He's played a superb innings. Half century coming in quick time. Just a 35 balls, five fours in a six. And India had finished off very strongly indeed, giving it his more than 100%. That's the bat swing that we are accustomed to seeing from Mahindra Singh Dhoni.